Uh, Nicholas, you're saying you're tired of you're tired of being afraid of losing. Oh no, you cannot be afraid of losing. You cannot be afraid of losing. Okay. Losing is R makes up the majority of the steps toward becoming a professional. So inside of your losing trades R, that's where your winning trades of the future are hiding there. So you should be wanting to get Get all of your losing out of the way now. Let it happen now. And that's the beauty of this program. You're allowed to lose now. Lose now, not in the future. Just be terrible now. This is the time to be terrible. This is the time to get all of your losing out of the way. This is the time to crack all of your losing. So these are your losing trades, right? But inside of your losing trades, there's a winning trade. Now, in order to get to the winning trade, you got to crack them open. That's the work that's done. So one, of, one work is what I just explained to you. Now take these losing trades. Let's pull the winners out by getting the average loss and making sure next week we make the average loss of last week the maximum loss for this week. If the average loss from last week becomes the, the maximum loss of this week, you've already improved. Already. Right there. That's an improvement. It's impossible not to improve next week. If, you, if the average from last week becomes the maximum for this week. Is that clear, guys? It's impossible not to improve. That's an immediate improvement. Right? But sometimes, guys, but sometimes we're too focused on the winning side. And the, the, the odd thing about this activity is that you grow mostly through the losing side. You grow via negation. So let me explain. Many of you have heard me talk about this, but as I'm always telling you, repetition has a huge value, especially as it relates to trading. So I'm going to repeat this. Negation. We learn how to become a professional at this via a process called negation, which means that we first learn what not to do, not what to do. You can't learn what to do before you have eliminated what not to do. So let me give an example. Let me put, let me give you an example of this. Let's say this is this is the truth. This is what you should be doing right here. This represents what you should be doing. But this is what you shouldn't be doing. You see? All of this is what you shouldn't be doing. Now, I know it seems depressing, but now, to get through all of, to leave all of this there and to get right to what you should be doing is very difficult, if not impossible. What you have to do is this. You have to take one by one what you shouldn't be doing like this. Watch this. Boom. Eliminate that one. See, you have to eliminate through negation. Not this, not that. That's not, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Let me eliminate that. Let me eliminate that. That's not it. Let me eliminate that. That's not the truth. That's not what I should be doing. Let me eliminate that. 
let me eliminate that. You follow what I'm saying? And eventually you get to a place where you only, oh shoot, I eliminated the wrong one. <laughs> you only, you know what I'm saying? You only, ah, can't do it, are left with what you should be doing. You can only find the needle in the haystack by removing major parts of the haystack. And then one day you say, ah, there's the needle. You can't search for the needle without first removing what's not the needle. Do you understand this trade? Does this make sense? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? You can't, so, so check this out. How many people are trying to find the needle without first removing what's blocking the needle? They want to go straight for the needle. It doesn't happen. That's not reality. The way I explain this, I, I explain this concept to my twin girls. They were maybe seven years old at the time. Right, and they're 15 now, but they're seven years old at the time. We had, some of you have heard me tell this story. We had this big giant picture skew window that overlooked our property. It was very beautiful. It was where I'd wake up in the morning and grab a cup of coffee or tea or something like that and just watch the sunrise. It was beautiful, stunning. Now, on this, um, uh, through this window, we had a, a beautiful scenery, and there was like this little brook that ran through the property. It was, it was nice. So one day, I decided to teach my girls this lesson. I gave them soap, different color soaps. And I said, babies, we're going to paint the whole window. Just go to town. And I had them throughout the day just draw on the window a little little pictures and you know, trees and whatever. And they covered the window, the whole, I said, we have to cover the whole window with your pictures. Tell a story if you like. And then I will come back and you tell me what you've drawn. And you know, kids love story. Kids love exercise like this because they know they're not supposed to be doing this. So when you give them an exercise to do something that they're not supposed to be doing it, they do it with fervor. They do it with delight. So anyway, I came back and they told me they were ready and the window was all filled up with soap drawings or whatever. Right? So much so that you could no longer see our beautiful property. And so I told them, tell me the story. What, what is this? What did you draw here? What's that? Daddy, that's you, and, that's you and mommy. I'm like, that's me and mommy? That doesn't look anything like me and mommy. But okay. You know what I'm saying. So anyway. <laughs> so anyway. I said, well. These are very beautiful drawings, but where is the brook that's running through our property? I don't see it. And they said, well, Daddy, it's behind our drawings. I said, well, where's, where's the tree? We have, where's your swing we, we put, we attach to the tree in the back? Where's that? Uh, is, is it gone? No, Daddy, it's behind our drawings. It's still there. And I said, well, I don't see it. Well, Daddy, just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. And I said, well, I want to see it. And I said, so, so, so do me a favor. I want to see the swing. Show me the swing. That's what they do. They took their sponges and they removed portions of their drawing to reveal the swing. And I was like, ah, so now I see the swing. 
it's there. And then one by one, it says, okay, so now show me, show me this. I want to see this. I want to see that. I want to see the brook. And what I was demonstrating for them is that sometimes the truth can appear that it's not present. It's just that certain things can cover up the truth and make it appear as though the truth no longer is there. So what we have to do in situations like that is we have to recognize that what is right is always there. And when it appears that it's not there, we have to focus on what is blocking it, what is camouflaging it. And so the only way to find the truth is through negation. We have to say one by one, this is not the truth. Okay. Is this the truth? Nope, that's not the truth. Okay, this is not it. This is not it. That's 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 not That's not what I should be doing. All right, that's not what I should be doing consistently. I have to eliminate that. I'm not doing, that's not correct. That's not correct. That's not correct. And eventually, by finding out what proper trading is not, you will be ultimately eventually left with what it is. It's there. So the focus on trying to do the right thing is actually wrong. You have to focus on what is clearly not the right thing and then cross that off your list. Now keep trading and find out what's the next click. This is clearly not what I should be repeating. Let's eliminate that thing. Oh, this I definitely should never do again. Eliminate that thing. And if you keep eliminating, guess what's going to all of a sudden be there in all of its glory, waving at you, smiling at you, that which you should be doing. You arrive at it by losing. You arrive at that by not doing the right thing, but recognizing it and eliminating it. So it is elimination first. This is what makes this game so difficult for people because they are looking for the winning first, but the elimination comes first. The losing comes first, then the process of recognizing what's incorrect losing then eliminating that and then repeat, repeat, repeat until you remove so much of the hay in your haystack that the needle catches the glimmer of light from above and shines brightly and says, here I am. And people who haven't been taught that this is the process wind up giving up or quitting, not understanding that it's supposed to be like this right now. That you're supposed to go through this process. You're supposed to know first what you shouldn't be doing, which ultimately leads you to what you should be doing. But you can't get there before you remove the garbage. And so many of you are in gob garbage removal process. You are in removing haystack needles that aren't the real needle. One by one. Some of you have bigger haystacks than others. That's just life. So some of you have to remove way more haystack needles than someone else. Some of you have to remove less. It doesn't matter. Everyone has their own journey. But no matter how big it is, 
you have to just start. Because the removal of every one thing is a step forward. It might be imperceptible in the beginning, but it's still improvement.